I am really excited to once again be back at Moksha Yoga to deliver yin training. I've been doing this for many years, working with Emma and Dave and the team at Moksha. It's a beautiful place to be. It's a beautiful community and a great home for the yin training. In the yin fundamentals training, as the name suggests, right, we're looking at laying a really strong foundation for your yin practice or for your yin teaching. And for me, those, those foundations are um, an understanding of Taoist philosophy and yin and yang, where yin sits inside the larger framework of Taoist thinking and, and understanding of the world. When you're teaching yin yoga, you are going to see people who are managing injuries, recovering from injuries, managing chronic conditions, chronic illness. So having a little bit of an understanding of the workings of the mind and current understanding about things like pain and chronic pain and injury and recovery is really going to serve you. One of the things that I really take pride in and have worked hard on is, is ways to take you inside these things that can seem a little bit intimidating or daunting in a way that that is relatable and understandable. And then of course, there's the actual posture labs, as I call them, where we experiment with and explore the foundational yin postures. And we uh, look at ways to, to use props and all kinds of variations that make the yin practice accessible for, for anyone. And then I, I think something that is maybe distinctive about the way that I teach yin is that I put a real emphasis on language. I think language has to be really intentional in a yin class. And so we'll spend some time really um, breaking down the cues that help you create a yin environment, that help you to be really inclusive, um, that help you to, to bring your students in, into the, a yin experience, a truly yin experience of the postures. The yin sequencing training is shifting from kind of pose A, pose B, pose C to an understanding of how to create a whole experience, right? How do we put things together in a way that has a clear theme or message, a beginning and a middle and an end, a story arc, um, and we'll do that, we'll come at that from a couple of different vantage points. So we'll look a little bit at the physicality of the poses and how does it, how can you flow poses together in terms of movement and props. We'll look at some of the systems like the chakra system or the meridian system that can be really helpful in creating a sequence again that has this beautiful um, theme or story arc to it. And again, as we do in Yin Fundamentals, um, because storytelling is in part about language, we'll take an even deeper dive into the language of good storytelling. So how do you work with elements like earth and water and fire? How do you integrate stories about divinities into the, the practice? How do you incorporate uh, things like mantra or mudra or um, acupressure points, like these other little bits and pieces that when you include them in an intentional way in a yin sequence can help you tell a story that has multiple layers and it gives your students lots of different entry points to the practice. One of the takeaways I, I often hear about from students is they came in expecting to learn and get practical tips, but they didn't anticipate how much they were gonna take away um, from the richness of just being together in community to share this experience in a tight little bubble with people who care about yin as much as you do. So feel free if you've watched this video, if something uh, sparked a question, or you just want to get a little bit more information about whether the training is right for you, I'm always happy to do one-on-one uh, -on -one chats. I look forward to hearing from you or, um, or to seeing you in the training later in the year.